That's right, folks. You are listening to Fanatics and the Fan. It's Rogue One Weekend! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you laugh. How many times have you seen the movie already? I've only seen it once so far. I'm going to see it at least once more tonight and once more tomorrow. So. <laughs> folks, as you're listening to this, uh, Fanatics and the Fan is live at the Branson IMAX Entertainment Complex. Woo! Ooh, I got all those words in. <laughs> Without taking a breath. And I am so excited! It is Rogue One weekend. The reviews, the the, the compliments, the things that I've heard about this movie, and we have a special guest joining us for this little snippet of this of, of this day. Uh, why don't you tell the folks who you are, what you do, and why you're so important to us today? Um, I'm Trent Holloway. I'm the chief projectionist at the Branson IMAX Complex. Uh, basically, that means that I make the movies. <laughs> so without you, there and is no Rogue not, One. He's not at all self-important about it. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I know what my position is. So, so how many times have you seen this? Six. No spoilers then, okay? Wow. Just, just to tell you that flat out. No spoilers, but from what I'm told, it's amazing. I, I personally love it. Um, it might be fighting for my favorite of the nice. entire Star Wars. So now, Seriously. you are also in charge of all of the remodels. As far as the screen, the projection, a lot say, of things that happened out here yeah, with this new system. Of, but I was definitely hands-on for all of it. <laughs> <laughs> what, and folks, to translate that, he worked his butt off to get it done. Uh, wasn't the first one we saw here after that was... That means you were the Right, right, right. Oh, so, so it was just a huge letdown on that. <laughs> no, not for us. <laughs> It looked great. It, it looked amazing. <laughs> it looked amazing. I could watch Milo and Otis on the screen and still be very happy. Hey, hey, the screen can't be held accountable for bad screen writing. So, so tell me about the remote. What, what, what do folks get to expect when they come out to um, the new brand sign? Well, we used to run film, um, and uh, we did it two different ways. A lot of our Hollywood features, we used to run on 35mm film, so a regular movie. And then we also had our IMAX 1570. Um, our last film we played, like actual film, was Star Wars Force Awakens. It was a 1570 print uh, before I retired that projection system. Is that in your living room? It's actually still upstairs in the booth because I can't get it through the door. <laughs> <laughs> if I could get it through the door, it would be at my house. <laughs> um, but uh, we retired that system. We put in uh, dual laser projection systems. Uh, you cannot watch a film in a better quality, uh, or a movie in a better quality than what we have here. We also ripped out all of our old seats, put in all new uh, high back leather rockers, and then the back two rows, um, we've got the VIP right. full on overstuffed recliners, which um, that's watching a movie in style. Um, <laughs> it's, it's nice. And new sounds, new sound system too, right? Yeah, uh, pulled out all of the old speakers, um, updated the speakers we had, and I also added an additional Four in the ceiling and four on each sidewall. We went from uh, 7.1 audio to 12.0. Uh, it's pretty cutting edge. It's actually, I, the, the last time I was here, I, I can't remember what it was, I saw, uh, actually it was Force Awakenings. And, and the way the sound was traveling through the room was just simply amazing. Brandon, what's your what's your favorite one that you've seen so far in the new brands and I Well, I know that uh, just sound-wise, The Force Awakens, I got to hear a whole lot, because I watched it beforehand. But just that scene where uh, Ray has her flashbacks, you hear so much more in the IMAX surround sound than you do anywhere else. So that just, it, it's not just watching on a, a big screen, it's not just watching on laser projection. The sound is a, good, a big part of every movie, too. So, uh, But I did also like watching Scarlett Johansson huge up on the screen, too. That was awesome. So, yeah. So did you get a chance to watch uh, Jungle Book in there? No, no, I didn't. All right, Jungle Book has the best audio capture as far as the new system goes. Right, right. Um, everybody's familiar with the old Disney Jungle Book film where Mowgli is being hypnotized by Kong, the snake. Mm -hmm. You know, he's getting, you know, enveloped in, her, right. in his coils. Played by Scarlett Johansson. And the new one, Scarlett Johansson plays Kong. And they recreate that scene. But uh, in this theater, you can actually hear the scales sliding across each other as it circles the room and over the top of you. And it's just like, it gives you goosebumps. <laughs> so, what you, so Scarlett Johansson is trying to hypnotize us <laughs> next movie. Works. It totally works. I they mean, do. I'm down with it. <laughs> well, they did the original "Trust in Me" the song from the original one in kind of a like jazzy type, and yeah. then they played it in the credits, which I was really mad that they played it in the credits and not, not in, the in the movie. It was so good. 
I mean, so now, I, and I know I've asked Brandon this, but I'll ask you because I know you've seen everything. Everything that's come in here, you've seen. For the most part, I miss some of the stuff that I play over at Branson Meadows or in the Elite. So what's on this new theater? What is your favorite that you've seen that you've had put in? Well, that's, I mean, now, bear in mind, we do understand that you've seen everything. Uh, I mean, home movies, last year's Christmas, all, all of it's gone up on the screen for you at least once. So. Yeah. I mean, that puts me on the spot. Um, the new Star Wars, the Rogue One, was surprising. I did not go in expecting to enjoy it nearly as much as I was going to. It's actually the best way to see most movies nowadays. <laughs> you won't hate them as much. Um, there were, there's certain aspects of so many of the films that we put up here that I really enjoy. Like, uh, I know a lot of people were not thrilled with the script for Suicide Squad, but the... Uh, I think it was more the script cuts. Yeah. The, the colors, and though, cast, on some of the this cast. screen were really... Like, the, yes. the neon colors were amazing. So I can, I can enjoy the different aspects, like the technical side of some of these films, as opposed to just I went to watch it. So it's hard to okay, but we all know you're a nerd, man. Come on now. <laughs> Nerd-wise, I'm going to have to say Star Wars every time. <laughs> and we're going to have a Star Wars every year! <laughs> so, folks, you need to come out to the Branson IMAX com uh, com Entertainment Complex. He got it right once. Behind you. He got it once. It's like really, literally it right behind me. <laughs> and, and on Trent's shirt. Uh, we're going to be here all day. Uh, Rogue One all day. See it several times. Uh, enjoy the new theater. Enjoy the new concessions. They actually have more stuff than they ever had before. Uh, I'm getting me a like smart water, and it's gonna make me smarter. And my Jedi mind trick will work. And I'll be able to keep track of Brandon now. <laughs> He's not a Jedi. You, do you know? Do you know how that works? Hawk tries to Jedi mind trick Brandon from coming over here. Then I have to go fetch him. <laughs> See, it still works. <laughs> That'll still work. The force flows through you. Yeah. <laughs> Trent, thank you so much. Folks, come check us out. We're going to be out here all day. We're going to be live here in a couple hours even. So Yay. come check out Fanax and a Fan with Vision Con, Art Van Dicta, and all the artists out here at the Branson IMAX. Woo! Yay.